What's up guys? I am back here with another video. This week we are talking about my 10 year Lockiversary. That's right. I've had these guys for 10 years and I think that's pretty awesome. I've seen a lot of these videos online. So let's go ahead and uh, jump right into why I got them and my experience with them. So let's go ahead and start with a little bit of story time. Okay, so I started my locks August 14th, 2008. My senior year of high school, I was going to college. That's when I decided to get them. Yes, I know I'm old. I started them, like I said, August 14th, 2008. I needed to figure out what I was going to do with my hair because I was going like mm, a little bit over an hour and a half away, which is still kind of a pain, not super far to call it. I didn't want to have to worry about either finding someone down where I was going to school to do my hair or having my parents drive back and forth every like two or three weeks to get my hair done or something like that. So also I didn't have a car, so I couldn't just drive myself. Either my mom or dad would have to pick me up. Three days before I was gonna move out and go down to college, I decided I was gonna start my locks. And I think that was probably the best decision I ever made because I didn't have to worry about getting my hair done or braided. I've never had perms or relaxers or anything like that done to my hair. I never had like extensions or any of that stuff. I've, I've always had braids, I guess that would be considered extensions, but I've always had my hair braided for as long as I can remember. All through kindergarten, elementary school, middle school, high school, all the way up until college. <laughs> it's pretty insane to even think about right now. So I think this was the best decision for me may not be for everybody, but it was really easy for me to maintain and I can do it myself. And I trust myself with my hair. So yeah, that's that's why I started. Also, my sister had locks at the time. I think she was in her like second year, second or third, maybe like four years, because she might have been four years into her locking journey. And I decided if she did it, I might as well go ahead and do it. My mom wasn't too excited about it, but now she's actually like, that was probably the best decision that you can do. <laughs> so, and it was a lot cheaper than getting my hair done all the time. So save money there. Okay, so some questions I get about my hair. Is this all my hair? Do I wash my hair? How does it stay like this? And of course, everyone's favorite, can you touch my hair? Answer those questions are, yes, this is all my hair. Yes, I do wash my hair. And how does it stay like this? With time and product that I put in my hair. And of course, no, you, you can't touch it. Like, just, just don't. So, I want to tell you some experiences that I've had with these questions. That's how I came up with them because I've experienced all this stuff. So, let's go ahead and start with question number one. Is this all my hair? Yes, this is all my hair. I grew it myself. Like, I've had people come up to me when I first started growing my locks, like they were super short, like super tiny. And lady in the lunch line when I was at school was like, is that all your hair? And I was like, yeah, this, this is all me. She's like, that's not all you. And then just walked away. <laughs> what? Like, I don't know how to respond to that question because I was like, I, I grew it myself. I don't understand how, I don't think faux locks were a thing at the time. I, I'm not sure, don't quote me on that. I'm pretty sure she thought that I had like extensions or something and I don't even know if that was a thing back then, but I was like, they're they're super short. Why would I get super short lock extensions? I, I don't know. That that just threw me off for the rest of the day. I was just trying to get my lunch and she's like, that's, that's not all your hair. And I was like, okay. <laughs> Another question I get asked a lot is, do I wash my hair? Yes, I wash my hair. I don't have to wash it as often as like a lot of people, I guess. A lot of Caucasian people, I don't have to wash my hair as much as like my husband. Like he washes his hair like every day. I don't wash my hair every day. I wash my hair pretty much if I'm going to like the beach, like the ocean or something like that with all the salt water and all that stuff. I will wash my hair as soon as I get that off because that's bad for your hair. I don't wash my hair unless I'm going to retwist it. So I do it pretty much whenever I'm not being lazy <laughs> and it doesn't take that long, but I wash it when I'm getting ready to retwist it because it'll get really fuzzy and it doesn't look as like, you know, uniform and neat. That's pretty much every two or three weeks, maybe four, 
If I'm really lazy, I sweat a lot, so I tend to need to wash it every three or four weeks, I'll say, around there. So yes, but to answer the question, yes, I do wash my hair. Question number three, how does it stay like this? I've used different products. Not everything works for everybody. Everybody's hair is different. So I've used products I've used in the past for locking is like Jamaican Mango and Lime. They're a locking gel. It didn't hold up after my hair started getting longer. So I switched it over to this stuff. This is what I use now. So this is what I use now to lock my hair. Not too expensive, it's like three or four bucks. And it works really well with my hair. It may not work well with other people's hair. But like I said, everyone's hair is different. So what works for me may not work for you. So you just gotta kinda experiment. That's pretty much what I've done to find out what works all for me. So this is what I use to lock my hair with. This stuff right here, Jamaican Mango and Lime Protein Conditioner. For shampoo, I just use normal head and shoulders because that's pretty, you know, standard shampoo stuff. I mean, there's other stuff out there, but that's, I just use normal shampoo. I don't use normal conditioner. I use Jamaican mango and lime, which is for, it strengthens conditions and it puts moisture back in my hair. I don't use two in one conditioners because that's not so good for it because it'll either dry it out. This actually puts moisture in my hair, which is what I need. And yeah, this is, this is the conditioner that I use. Also to help with that, I just use this stuff right here. It is just a no itch spray, just also moisturizes your hair. It says it smooths it, non-greasy formula, all that good stuff, mumbo jumbo. I just use it to moisturize my hair. Tried other stuff, but this stuff works the best for me. So that's what I put in my hair. So to answer the question, I use all this stuff and it helps the locking gel helps it stay like this. <laughs> for the final question, question four, can you touch my hair? No, you, you cannot. I've had people come up to me before like this close and just like caress my hair. Like, no, <laughs> don't do that. Like you don't just walk up to people. I don't know where your hands have been. I. I don't know you, so don't ask. Even like my close friends, I generally don't even let them really touch it because I don't just I don't just go up to people and touch their hair. That's that's weird to me. Put it this way, okay. Wait, it's like art. You go to like a museum, you look at the art, you don't touch it because there's usually like signs that say do not touch. It's like a painting. So don't you can look, take pictures, admire, just don't touch it. Like as simple as that. Unless I say, yes, you can touch it. Nine times out of 10, I'm gonna tell you no. But yeah, you don't don't touch it. <laughs> simple as that, like it's, yeah, just like I said, it's like art. You can look at it from afar, admire it, take pictures, do whatever, just don't touch it. Yeah. So yep, that is pretty much it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to comment, share, like, and subscribe. You can also check out some of my other videos. Links to social medias will be down below. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the video. 10 years of locks, totally insane. And I'm gonna keep going. I will catch you guys later days. Peace.